Hey guys, in this video, let's discuss App Insights for Azure function. So App Insights, it is a logging solution tool. That means it can store logs, custom logs, performance issues, exceptions from within our application. That means from within our function app. So guys, you can imagine App Insights is really important and when you want to fix any issue or bug or when let's say our application is slow app insights is a go-to place for us now in this video we will deploy a function app from visual studio in azure and guys while deploying this function app itself we will create app insights as well that means this app insights it will be linked with our function app and now in this function app we will have two functions there is function one and function two now function one it will be a very slow function that is it has that is it has performance issues and function two it will throw an exception and finally let's understand how we can find this slow running function and this exception details in app insights see guys when we say we can find exception details that means we can find the exact file where the error occurred and exact line number as well where that error occurred okay and now let's go to the visual studio so guys we are in visual studio and i have created this simple azure function app so this azure function app insights demo and inside this we have two functions that is function one and then function two now guys observe this function one i have intentionally added a delay of 10 seconds that means it this function it will take 10 seconds to get executed that means this will be our slow function and then in function 2 see we are trying to convert this string in an integer but this string it is not an integer so that means this code it will throw an error now before we deploy it in azure let's actually run it locally so our function app is running now i will copy both these urls and i will run both these functions one by one so let's first copy this and here let's say enter and see guys it's already taking time to get executed that means this is a slow running function so finally it worked and now let's run our second function new tab and this is the this is the URL for function 2 and see it has thrown an exception that is error 500 right now and now let's deploy this function app in Azure and again while deploying itself we will create an instance of app insights as well so let's just stop this execution so right click on this project I will say publish say Azure I will say Azure function app windows next and here let's create new instance of function app so I will say create new and here let's give this name and guys see this app insights please follow on mouse and here let's say new that is that means we are creating new instance of app insights and again this newly created app insights it will be linked with our function app right so here I will say new let's give name so i'll say this that is app insights demo 8888 and i'll say ok and here i'll say create and now here i will say finish and now here i will say publish so guys our publish is successful and now let's cross check in azure and see as of now we can see only two functions here i will say refresh and yes we can see the function app which we just created see this azure functions app insights demo so let's open it and under overview if you go down yes we can see two functions that is function one and function two and again this function one it is our slow running function and this function two it throws an exception right and as of now we can see three instances of app insights here i will say refresh and yes now we can see the app insights which we just created see this app insights demo 8888 so let's open it 
guys now this app inserts it is now linked with our function right so let's go to our function app again and now let's try to call function 1 and function 2 a few times so i will open function 1 now to call this function 1 let's say get function url and i will copy this url and of course guys if you remember this is slow running function because we have added a delay of 10 seconds so here let's run it and see it's already taking time it's slow So finally it worked. Now guys, I will run this function a few more times. I will say refresh and I will say refresh again. Okay and now let's run our function too. So I just go here and I will duplicate this tab. And, and I will just close this. Function app. Our function app. Let's open function 2 and here I will say get function URL. Let's copy this and let's run it. So again now function 2 it will throw an exception. Yes it says error 500. Now let me run it a few times and of course every time we will get an exception. Okay guys so we have executed function 1 and function 2 a few times and now let's see what we have got in app insights right so let's go to app insights and guys first thing to find the performance issues let's click on this performance and now guys under performance we can see entry for only function one so it's because it may take some time for this data to get reflected so let's wait for a couple of minutes Okay guys, so we have waited for some time and here I will say refresh and yes, now we can see entries for function 1 and function 2. But guys, observe one thing, see for function 1, it takes on an average 10 seconds to get executed, see this 10.1 second. But for function 2, it takes only 59 milliseconds. So of course in real time you will have many more functions. So you can simply sort this in descending order that is average duration and then on the top you will get the functions which are slow that is which have performance issues. And guys trust me this information is really helpful when you want to debug and fix performance issues. Okay so this was about finding slow running functions and now let's see how we can find the exception details right. So let's click on this transaction search. And here I will say last hour. And, and see guys, here under transaction search, you can see all the information. See, you can see the exception details, you can see trace, you can see dependencies, you can see when request execution was started, when it was completed. So all the information we have in this transaction search. And let's say, we want to find only exception details like in our case function 2 has failed so here under event types you can say only exception and yes now we have got only exception details so let's open any one of those and here we can see all the details of this exception so basically on the right hand side if i go down can you see this checkbox just my code so let's click on it and this shows the exact file and the exact line number where that exception occurred and see this it says it occurred in function 1.cs on line number 28 so that is how you can debug find the root cause and fix your issues so that's it guys for this video thanks thanks for listening